Mr. Bounce. Mr. Bounce was very small and looked like a rubber ball. Rubber ball. He just couldn't keep himself on the ground. He bounced all over the place. And, as you can imagine, that made things life difficult. That made things, things rather difficult for Mr. Bounce. Ow. Last week, when Mr. Bounce was out walking, when he came, through, when he came to a farm, he climbed, all, he climbed over the farm gate, and you can guess what happened next. He jumped right, right, he jumped right down from the fence and boing, bounced right into the duck pond. Bam! Bam! Splash! Quack, quack, said the ducks. With the ducks. The other morning, Mrs. Browns was in bed. He woke up, he jumped out of bed, and you can guess what happened next, can't you? He bounced right out of the bedroom door, out of his bedroom door, and went, and went, and, and, and all the way down the stairs. Bouncy, 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 bounce, bounce, bounce. Doing, 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 doing. Eve, that happens quite so often. Which probably explains why Mr. Bounce leaves his door, bedroom door, open every night. But, but I... Oh, Mr. Bounce. After he picked himself up, Mr. Bounce went inside his house and sat down to think. Doing! Mr. Bounce bounced himself, bounce, bounced off the chair, and, and banged his head on the ceiling. Doing! Doing! Doors. Ouch! said Mr. Bounce. This is ridiculous! This is ridiculous! Mr. Bounce thought to himself, rubbing his head. I must do something to stop all that bouncing about! He thought and he thought. I know! He thought. I'll go see the do I'll go and see the doctor! See the doctor! So, after breakfast, Mrs. Bounce went off to the nearest town to see the doctor. He was passing he was passing a test court when he tripped over a pebble. Doing He bounced right over the court where two children were playing tennis. And you can guess what happened next, can't you? The children didn't didn't realize that Mrs. Bounce wasn't a tennis ball, they started hitting him r with their tennis rackets. It's backwards and forwards over the net. Doing! Do! Doing! Dooch! Doing! Ow! Ding! Oh! Doing! Ouch! Oh! Yow! Doing! Dooch! Doing! Dooch! Ding! Dooch! Ding! Do! Take! Ow! Poor Mr. Bounce. Eventually, one of the children hit Mr. Bounce so hard that he bounced right off the tennis court. Mr. Bounce bounced off down the road towards the town. Oh dear. He said, feeling very sorry for himself. I've been bounced black and blue. A bus was coming, was coming down the road, and Mr. Bounce decided that the safest place, at least for him, was was he to be would would be on it, to be on it. He got he got him set down, still feeling more than fair, a little sorry for himself. 
The bounce drove in the town. The bounce, the bus stopped right outside the doctor's. Mr. Bounce stepped through the from the bus, and you can guess what happened next, can't you? He didn't step down the pavement outside the doctor. Oh no, none, Mr. Bounce. He stepped out of the bus and onto the pavement and bounced in through the doctor's window. Dong! Dr. Makewell was sitting, on his, sitting at his desk during his mid-morning coffee. Mr. Bounce sailed through the open window and landed. And landed. And landed. Right to a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. Splash! Dodge! Screamed Mr. Bounce. The coffee was very hot. Good heavens! Good heavens! exclaimed Dr. Make Your Will. After Dr. Make Your Will had fished Mr. Bounce out of his coffee and some, some, some paper towels, to dry. He listened to what Mr. Bounce had told him. So you see, said Mr. Bounce, finally, I must, you must give me something to stop all, stop me bouncing up, about all, all over the place quite so much. <sighs> Potter, Doctor, make you well. After some thought, Doctor, make you well, went to his medicine cabinet and took out a pair of tiny red boots. Yes, this shall do the trick. This shall do the trick, he told Mr. Bounce. Heavy boots. That should stop the bouncing. Stop the bouncing. Thank you, Dr. Make You Well, said Mr. Bounce. And went home and walked home wearing his red boots. Oh no, not bounced, N not bounced, walked, just, he just walked. That night, Mr. Bounce went to bed, wearing, still wearing his red, heavy boots, and then went, and then he went to sleep. The following morning, he woke up, yawned, stretched, and bounced out of bed. However, you can you can guess what happened, can you? Oh no, he didn't bounce down the stairs. He bounced. He went straight into the bedroom floorboards. <laughs> Crash! <laughs> and finished up in the kitchen. <laughs> and Mr. Bounce finished up in the kitchen. <laughs>